Oh, bon dia. Didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. If one synchronized swimmer drowns, do the rest have to drown too? That's a very good question. The answer is yes. Yes, they do. In fact, that happened once at the YMCA just down the street. One of the synchronized swimmers drowned and they all had to follow. I don't need to tell you that they won the award for best synchronized swim team that year. Because that's dedication to your craft. And since then, they have been winning every single synchronized swimming award every year. They just dump their bodies into the pool, and they just float there, totally lifeless. Since every one of them stays dead and doesn't breathe a breath of air, they always win every year. They call themselves the Upside Down Fish. And it's one of the worst things that we as human beings can ever watch and experience. Yes. Why is lemon juice artificially flavored and dishwashing liquid made with real lemons? Because I'm Batman. If you were the owner of a factory, what would it produce? I say it would produce little toy versions of me. And you would ask it questions, just like you would ask a magic eight ball. Except instead of looking in the little peephole to get your answer, you will look in my ass. Because clearly that is where I get all my information. In my ass. <laughs> Indeed, I have pulled many great things out of my ass. Like I pulled out this pipe. These glasses. In fact, let's see what great wonder my ass has to offer this time. <coughs> A Hummel figurine. Isn't that splendid? Yes. I was with my girlfriend the other night, and then suddenly my phone rings. It was this guy that said, get away from my daughter. I asked her, and she said that her father was dead. Then who was on the phone? I'll admit it was me. And I know that you have a restraining order against me, but I figure it's the only way to talk to you. I'm sorry what I did to your Doberman, and I know that you will need years of psychological therapy. But that doesn't mean we can't still be buddies, right? I look forward to calling you again, and watching you while you sleep. You sleep so deliciously. If you tied a piece of butter toast to a cat and chucked it off a bridge, what side would it land on? I know what you're getting at, the fact that toast always lands butter side up and that cats always land on their feet. But cats also know this, and so they have a triggering mechanism mentally implanted in the brains to kill themselves before they can find out. Not too many people know this, but cats can actually self-explode. And they do this right before someone throws them off a bridge with toast tied to their backs. I tried this once with my cat Fifi. <coughs> I never found out the answer. For if we did find out the answer, the world would never be the same again. People would have to walk backwards, toasters would give us freshly squeezed orange juice, and Matthew Broderick would actually start having talent. Pray that day never comes. <coughs> the darndest things. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it. <laughs>